it's not in a man's best interest to take care of you and the kid. Do you? But I'm not asking him to take care of my kid. Mm-hmm. But he's inevitably going to have to step in that role if he takes you seriously. I would give the same advice to a single mom that I would give to somebody asking me a question about like starting a business or something. Okay, if somebody comes to you and they're like, "Hey, I want to do this. Like, will I be successful?" There's always one question that you ask this person: What are you offering to whatever world you want to get in that nobody else can get? And if you don't know the answer to that immediately, and you want to be talent, you want to be content creator, you want to be an influencer, you want to be a small business. If you don't have an answer to that immediately, you need to go back to the drawing board. If you don't even know what people will go to you for that is above and beyond the competitors, then why would anybody go to you? What are you offering that's so much better than a woman that is the same as you, but doesn't have a kid? Mm -hmm. So if you're a single mom, you can do it. You have to work a lot harder than somebody that is. There's a reason why men like young, attractive girls, because men want a girl that's coachable, that's younger, that doesn't come with baggage. So a girl with a kid can't be coachable. Probably not, because here's the thing. She has a child. She's going to have to have allegiance to her baby daddy to some degree. So I'm not going to have 100% authority, but I'm going to have 100% responsibility over that child. 